Tiana, thanks. The Bright Nights 5K's back. 500 runners preparing now to take part in the annual tradition. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver joins us live from Forest Park with more. Lexi. Chris and Mary, runners are set to take their marks and start the fun here at Bright Nights in about half an hour at 6.30. And those runners are ready in their costumes, saying this race helps get them in the holiday spirit. Spirit of Springfield President Judy Matt tells Western Mass News this is the 16th year the run is taking place. Registration opened in September, and she says spots filled up within a day. The park is closed today and tomorrow for regular Bright Nights customers. The Springfield College women's tennis team helping out tonight, volunteering to pack runners' bags and help with check-in. They tell us they're happy to be able to help out in the community. This year, we're just trying to like have just be more decorated and everything, just like really enjoy it a lot. I'm very glad that um, our whole team was able to be a part of this. So it's just um, it's just a great experience to be able to help out the community. The run will head through the Seussland Arch to the poinsettia candles display at Picnelli Field, then back down through the aquatic gardens for a total of more than three miles. After runners cross the finish line, they'll enjoy a catered soup dinner while winners are announced. Again, that race begins at 6.30, and we'll hear more from runners coming up later tonight. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.